Okay, this is when we're really starting to look at proofs. So the distributed property, so you need to know your properties, theorems, so we're going to go over some properties here. The distributed property looks like this. 2 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 2x plus 8. The addition property of equality looks like this. Say you're trying to add 8 to each side. Whenever you add the same thing to each side, that's the addition property of equality. Just like if you had the same exact problem and you wanted to subtract 4 from each side, that's the subtraction property of equality. If you had a problem like this, and the next line looks like x equals 16, that means you multiplied both sides by 2, so that's the multiplication property of equality. If you had something like this, and the next line was x equals 6, 6, that means you divided both sides by 4, so that's the division property of equality. And the new properties are ones that we're not familiar with yet. Are the first one is a reflexive property. So the reflexive is the exact same thing as on each side. So the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle A. Or the distance AB is equal to the distance AB. Or the segment CD is congruent to the segment CD. That's the reflexive. That actually comes in handy later on. We use it a lot in Chapter 4. The symmetric property is when you have the exact same thing. So AB is congruent to CD. You have the exact same statement except for the left hand side and right hand side are flipped. So it's the segment CD is congruent to the segment AB. See how the right hand side and the left hand side just flipped? That's called symmetric property. The transitive property is also used a lot. That would be look like this. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Angle 3 is congruent to angle 2. So this reminds me of the law of syllogism. Basically, we don't really even need this middle one. So we conclude, conclude, conclude that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. That's an example of the transitive property. Here's another example of the transitive property. Angle A is congruent to angle B. And we know that angle B is congruent to angle C. Therefore, cross these B's out. We can go right to the end. Angle A is congruent to angle C. The substitution property is something like if you know the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 90 but you know that the measure of angle 1 equals 40. You can substitute and write in, instead of the measure of angle 1, measure of angle 1, you just write 40. 40 degrees plus the measure of angle 2 equals 90. So I replaced this angle 1 with 40 degrees in this sentence right here. Okay, instead of writing measure of angle 1, I wrote 40 degrees. That's substitution. Okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna try to figure out what properties we're using, the ones that we just went over. So if I have x plus 4 equals 3x, how did I go from 4 equals 2x? Sometimes it helps to write it vertically. So 4 equals 2x. How did I go from line 1 to line 2? What happened? What happened was I subtracted x from each side. So this is called the subtraction property of equality. Second one, if x equals y and y plus 4 equals 3x, then x plus 4 equals 3x. So what is the difference between this one? Well, 4, 4 equals 3x is the same in each. But the first one is y and the second one is x. What happened was we substituted x equals y. 
So instead of writing y, I wrote x. So that's called substitution. For substitution, you don't write substitution property of equality. You just write substitution. The third one I think is a little bit easier to see. We solve for x, so we did the division property of equality. So write division, oops, property of equality. Next line, if a equals b and b equals c, a equals c. This is the transitive property. Next one, x plus 2 equals y, so y equals x plus 2. Notice how the left-hand side and the right-hand side flip-flopped. When the left-hand side and the right-hand side flip-flop, it's called the symmetric property. You don't have to write symmetric property of equality or symmetric property of congruence. It's okay if you just write symmetric. Same with transitive and reflexive. But you do need to write addition, subtraction, multiplication, and addition property of equality. And the last one is the distributed property. Probably the easiest to rec recognize. So we're going to see this. I, we kind of did a little bit of this in last chapter. I tried to point it out at least, justifications. Um, so... When statements are congruent, you use the reflexive property of congruence, but I'm okay if you just say reflexive, actually. And when you have equal, equal, equal signs, you use property of equality. So number one, we're going to solve for x and justify each step. So first, remember, always mark your diagram. Angle AOC, this big thing, is 139 degrees. So I know that the measure of angle AOB plus the measure of angle BOC has to equal the entire thing, which is the measure of angle AOC. You need to write these M's in here, okay, the measures. You can't just say angle AOB plus angle BOC equals angle AOC. That's not going to be accepted. So then, instead of writing AOB, oh, I need to do justifications. I should have left more room. So justify, justifications would be, the angle addition postulate is when these two angles add up to the big angle. Angle addition postulate. So now instead of writing measure of angle AOB, I'm going to write X. Instead of writing the measure of angle BOC, I'm going to write 2X plus 10. And instead of writing the measure of angle AOC, I'm going to write 139. So what I did was I made a substitution. So my justification is going to be substitute. Next line, do some algebra. So it's going to be 3x plus 10 equals 139. So what I did right here is I combine like terms or I simplify. So you can either write simplify or combine like terms, or you can even write addition because you added x plus 2x. But it's not the addition property of equality because that would be adding 2x to each side. And then the next one, I'm going to subtract 10. So this is the subtraction property of equality. So now I have 2x equals 129. Divide both sides by 2. So that is the division property of equality. So if I divide both sides by 2, um, 130 divided by 2 is 65. So this has to be 64.5. De not degrees, oops, it's just x, 64.5. Okay, some more justifications. So this, oh, I need to mark my diagram. So the whole thing is 21. I marked it. So we know that AB plus BC equals the whole thing AC. And that's by the segment addition postulate. Now I'm going to substitute and say that 
2y plus 3y minus 9 equals 21, and that's by substitution. Should have left my room. Now I have 5y minus 9 equals 21. That's by, you can either say addition, simplify, or combine like terms. Now I'm going to add 9 to each side. So it's 5y equals 30, and that's by the addition property of equality. And at the, my final line is y equals 6, and that's by the division property of equality. Okay, so I started the next one, which is very similar. Um, I need to make sure that I draw a diagram, and so I did. And I marked it up, and then I also start with the segment addition postulate. So instead of writing AB, I'm going to go over here, and AB is 2x plus 4. And instead of writing BC, I'm going to write 15 minus x. Instead of writing AC, I'm going to write 21. This is by substitution. Then the next line, I'm going to combine like terms. So 2x minus x is x. 4 plus 15 is 9. 19. So I, I could use simplify, addition, or combine like terms. So I'm going to write simplify. And the last line is the subtraction property of equality. So subtraction property of equality. The question was to solve for x, so we answered it. Okay, and the last part is just let's just go through there and see what new property or old theorems or postulates that um, describe this. So if you have AB equals AB, it's the exact same thing on each side. So this is the reflexive property. And the next one, if the measure of angle AOB, ABC plus 40 equals 85, then how do we go from here to here? Well, it looks like we subtracted 40. So this would be the subtraction property of equality. Letter C, if k equals m and k plus w equals 12, then m plus w equals 12. Okay, so k plus w is 12 is very close to m plus w equals 12. The only difference is the k and the m, but we know that k equals m so that means that we use substitution. Okay, D. If B is a point in the interior of angle AOC. So I'm going to draw angle A, O, C, and B is on the interior, inside. Then the measure of angle AOB plus the measure of angle BOC equals angle AOC. Well, we've done that before. That's the angle addition postulate. Now, letter E, if 2x plus 3x equals 5, then 5x equals 5. Well, we combine like terms, or addition, or simplify. So I'm going to write simplify. F, if 4x equals 16, then 16 equals 4x. This is when you switch the left-hand side and the right-hand side. When you switch the left-hand side and the right-hand side, it's symmetric. And number four, it's the exact same thing on the right and left-hand side. So that's reflexive. Letter H, you're using the distributive property. And if x is the midpoint of AB, so mark, mark, then y is AX equals to XB. 
that is by the definition of midpoint. If you know this, these, these reflexive, substitution, transitive, this will really help you when we do proofs.